What's up y'all? Alan, checking in. Missed you guys. Um, it's been a minute since I uh, since I checked in with you. Sorry. Uh, I've been obviously busy. I know you guys knew about the baby coming, but that was the big thing that happened. Um, obviously, that came out April 3rd a couple weeks ago. And uh, so far, so good. He's a happy, healthy kid. He was 9 pounds and 14 ounces, which is crazy. So literally just about 10 pounds, 2 ounces away. So poor Sam, she was uh, obviously pumped to get that kid you know, out of her. So at this point, we've just been adjusting and dealing with a whole bunch of stuff um, on top of that. Um, as you guys can see in the beginning of the video, you know, a couple things there. Uh, number one, um, the big thing for me is I did get my new job, so um, which is awesome. Um, I've been looking forward to that for quite a while and I uh, wanted to share that with you guys a while ago, but I just couldn't do it because of the whole given two weeks at the old job and, and just making sure everything went smoothly before you know, I let you all know what's up. But basically I landed a job at Oracle, which is, you know, in terms of my industry and what I'm doing, it's, it's kind of like a dream job for me. So um, it's gonna open up a lot of doors for me and give me a lot of opportunity to, you know, make a lot of money. So, um, you know, from a sales perspective, so, I, you know, I get paid salary and commission, but this place, um, you know, obviously everybody's heard of Oracle. If you haven't, Google it. But I mean, they're pretty much as big as something like a Microsoft. They have 160,000 employees and, um, you know, it's just a massive, you know, technology company. So it does hardware, software, everything. So cloud stuff, platform, you name it, they do it. So I, uh, yeah, we'll be doing that. I started officially about uh, two weeks ago um, at Oracle. And uh, that's another reason that I haven't been doing many videos. I've been onboarding, doing a bunch of training and stuff like that. So. That's been consuming a bunch of time for me, um, but uh, like I said, it's all good stuff, and I'm, not, I'm representing uh, the number one product in my space, uh, so that makes things a lot easier. If you could, you know, sell the, uh, you know, the Nikes versus the uh, the New Balances, I think everybody would choose to sell the Nikes. So. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, outside of that, trying to think of what else is going on here. Uh, I have not gone racing, so that's a big update. It's a bad update, unfortunately. I, I have full intentions, as you guys know, that watched the, the last video with the Evo um, and the roll cage and all that. I, I had full intentions of going, but you know, Adam didn't get the car ready, and I just found out today, unfortunately, that uh, the car is not gonna be ready for this weekend in West Virginia either. So that's kind of devastating to be honest with you. So I've been working up to this all winter and gave him four months to get the car done and it's just, you know, it's just not working out. So, you know, I'm dealing with that right now, trying to get a hold of grid life and get credit for future races. And then, um, you know, we still need to get the car, you know, once he does finish it, hopefully in the next week or two. Um, you know, I need to get it out on the track locally uh, to make sure that this thing's going to be okay in terms of the overheating issue. Um, you know, because he is pulling apart the motor, checking out the bearings, replacing the head gasket, and you know, some other stuff in addition to the roll cage. So, um, so there was some things being changed, and I just wanted to make sure we're all good there before I, you know, pack up the car and take it across country to go racing. So, that's what's going on there. Another big update that I'm super excited to tell you guys about. Honestly, super pumped. Um, I officially bought it, it's done, and we will pick it up uh, on Thursday. Today is Tuesday, and that is I got the trailer. So it's official, it's, uh, I'm gonna wait to reveal it 
but it is a 28 foot, uh, you know, enclosed trailer. It's black and it looks good. So it's not the pimped out super crazy one, but it is pretty nice. So, and it's brand new and um, yeah, like I said, we'll pick it up in two days and I'll definitely make a video for that and give you my impressions of towing with it, I guess, empty as we bring it up to Adams uh, to get the Evo. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's super, super exciting right there. I know you guys have been waiting a while for that, so have I, but it's official. Like I said, I bought it and we got it. So that's what's going on there. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I got here. You know me, I made my list here. So let's see here. Oh yeah, the last thing that we didn't talk about. This is going to be a shorter video, obviously. It's just a little update. Where have I been? You know, what's going on with me? But as you guys can see, the, you know, the, the title for this video will be the, the safety recall on the Dodge Ram. I'm going in tomorrow morning to get, to get that handled. Um, you know, it was a pretty serious recall. It looks like it's related to the drag link and the drag link could potentially fail and cause the car obviously to lose steering. So that would be no good. So. That's kind of shitty, and it was funny because I called the dealership and they told me they couldn't get me in for a week initially, and I'm like, for a safety recall that could affect the car, I mean, it literally says in bold that the car could crash, and uh, of course they called me back and said they could get me in the next day, but it was funny, the gal was like, oh, we can't get you in for a week or two, I'm like, uh, for a safety recall, and she's like, yeah. So that was that was interesting. So that is the first recall on the truck that I've had to experience. Everything else so far has gone gone okay. Um, I haven't had the recalls that the other guys have had, like the up to the 2017 year model. They looks like they fixed quite a bit of that stuff um, in mine with the 18, so which is good. But outside of that, the truck's still running good. It's got 10,970 miles on it, so we're literally about to go over 11,000, which is cool. Say what's up to the world, Hugo Bear. Oh, look at this guy. Just woke up from a nap. Look at him. Yeah, he's pumped. All right, guys. So, uh, obviously, the GoPro cut out on the car there. Battery died. It's sunny as hell, so I don't have the glasses. But wanted to wrap up the video. Um, missed you guys overall, without a doubt. Um, got a lot of stuff coming this summer, period. Um, like I said, we're going to wrap up the cage on the Evo, get that thing on the racetrack. We're picking up the trailer for the Dodge Ram over there. Dodge Ram, excuse me, the uh, the Ram coming since everybody hates when I call it a Dodge. Um, but we're picking up the trailer uh, in two days for that thing. Uh, getting the Evo hopefully in the next week or two. Hitting the track and then uh, don't forget the MR2, Project MR2 Turbo. So this is my 1991 MR2 Turbo, 94,000 original miles, no accidents. This thing is a clean vehicle and uh, we're dropping the, uh, the K24A2. Uh, from the Acura TSX in this thing so and we'll be building a turbo kit uh, Getting a standalone computer on it and uh, taking this thing drag racing. So um, If you're not familiar with those types of cars, they hardly weigh anything uh, the engine sits behind you um, So it's mid-engine rear-wheel drive and these things hook up traction wise amazing um, This thing probably weighs I think about 2,500 pounds and uh, It's gonna crush it. So Get ready, and that thing's gonna that thing's gonna tow it too. So, yeah, this garage is a mess. <laughs> we got tires, kids' toys, racing brake fluid, um, detail stuff, all that stuff. So, once again, missed you guys. Hugo missed you guys too. Hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribing. Really appreciate all the new uh, you know the new subscribers. Uh, the channel's growing faster than ever. Um, so, you know, appreciate you guys. I know a lot of you guys were found me because of the Jeep video, and uh, I do miss the Jeep for the record. Uh, I miss it every day, actually. I really miss it. But uh, I am going to get the new track hawk, just so you guys know. Um, the tw I think it's 2021, the next body saw for the Grand Cherokee, but we will be getting a, a, a new track hawk, and that will show up on the channel sooner than you think. So once again, we'll check back in. Appreciate you guys. Peace.